Cancel culture. Ah, yes. It was the golden age of microaggressions and safe spaces. Remember those? <laughs> Celebrities, educators, even everyday Joes were getting shamed in the public square. Well, the battle for free speech on campus rages on, and guess what? The radical left is winning. Chaos has become the expectation when viewpoints deemed controversial by some arrive on college campuses. A-list comedians avoided campuses altogether. Speech is not violence, and the idea that we're treating it as such has broken the compass. These were dangerous waters, and Chappelle dove in head first. And that's what makes him different. He was the first guy to understand that nobody likes cancel culture. You're never gonna be at a party and go, oh wow, I can't wait till the guy who gets offended and everything shows up. You wanna know why? Because that guy doesn't get invited to parties. And he knew that. You have to answer the question, am I canceled or not? <laughs> then let's go. Thank you very much and good night. He stood up and said things that were controversial. And he wasn't afraid of being canceled. How is Dave viewed with the modern comic? They love him because he was the first big name to take this fight head on. Comics owe him a debt of gratitude because there's a lot of big name comics who weren't willing to fight that battle. Chappelle was the right guy to put a foot down to cancel culture. You know, everyone else was bending the knee. He bent the middle finger. Despite the danger, or maybe because of it, Chappelle was on fire. He was selling out all over the world, which gave him a lot of momentum going into his 2021 special, The Closer. Chappelle made fun of what some considered a protected class. He really kind of hit the gay community in that one. The woke mob broke out their pitchforks. Cancel culture coming from Dave Chappelle, the comedian triggering critics in his new comedy special, The Closer. There were javelins, from every outlet coming his way, but he seemingly didn't even need to duck. He would just maybe take a drag of a cigarette, move to the side, yep. But things got nasty when Dave's haters came for his employer. Well, the closer caused quite a bit of controversy for Netflix. Netflix employees staged a walkout. There were fights that broke out. The problem is that as trans people, we have very limited rights. Most of this crowd says Dave Chappelle's latest stand-up called The Closer is harmful and unethical. Sprinkled in the walkout and sparking minor scuffles are Chappelle supporters who say some people just need to lighten up. Get a sense of humor. We're out here to show our support for jokes, comedy, and everything that's great about America. Free speech. People can't take a freaking joke anymore. They just go on and on about their feelings and not reality, and we cannot live in a society like that. Dave Chappelle is a funny man, but to him, these attacks were no laughing matter. You said you want a safe working environment at Netflix. Well, it seems like I'm the only one that can't go to the office anymore. Netflix had a big decision to make. Give in to the walkout or stick with a $60 million man. Ted Sarandos, the head of Netflix, came out and said, listen, we support free speech, especially when it comes to comedians. Chappelle stood his ground, and Netflix ultimately stood their ground enough to let him do another special. Thank God for Ted Sarandos and Netflix. He's the only one that didn't cancel me yet. He genuinely takes the critiques under consideration. He's not doing it to be a provocateur. He's doing it because he has thought about their position. He has thought about his role as an entertainer. To the transgender community, I am more than willing to give you an audience. But you will not summon me. I am not bending to anybody's demands. There's so much heart along the way because his jokes are very much marinated in his emotions. Everyone I know from that community has been nothing but loving and supporting. So I don't know what all this nonsense is about. 